Now our today's topic is chemical reaction and equations part 1. The first question is what is a chemical reaction? In order to understand chemical reaction we have to see in our houses first. We have a tradition of throwing out garbage outside our houses on the road and after some time it converts into a rotten bulk emitting a lot of odor. This is nothing but due to chemical reaction. Question is how does a chemical reaction take place? In order to understand this we have to go to the smallest particle called atom. Atom is made up of three particles electron, proton and neutron. In order to be stable atom have to either lose or gain electrons. Hence loosening or gaining of electron is defined as a chemical reaction. Hence reorganization of electron is called a chemical reaction. The substances that take part in the chemical reactions are called as reactants and as a result new substances so made are called as product. For example C plus O2 gives rise to CO2. Here C and O2 are reactants and CO2 is a product. In any chemical chemical reaction the following essential essentially takes place. First is evolution of a gas, second formation of precipitate, third is change of colors, fourth is change in temperature and the fifth is change in state of the body. A chemical equation happens in both open and closed region therefore depends on PVT conditions. In equilibrium number of atoms and number of masses should be equal. For example 2s2 plus O2 give rise to 2s2O. We use the following symbols to show various situations. Upward arrow for evolution of gas, downward arrow for precipitate, delta for heat requirement etc. Exothermic reactions means heat evolved. Endothermic means heat is required. 